you decide to begin selling frozen bananas at a local carnival. Your supplier provides you with a table of cost to give you an idea of what your financial outlay would be. That table is shown below, here, where N is the number of items purchased and C is the cost in dollars. We're told the data is exactly linear. It's important that we recognize this. Knowing the data is linear will help us determine the function rule for the cost in dollars in terms of N, the number of items purchased. For part A, we're asked to determine the vertical intercept and the average rate of change. Well, the vertical intercept would be the point where the input is zero and the output would be C of zero. And then the average rate of change would be the same as the slope of the line containing these six ordered pairs. Let's begin by determining the slope or average rate of change. Well, normally we think of the slope as the change of y divided by the change of x, but in this case, it'd actually be the change in the cost, or delta c, divided by the change of n, or delta n. Because the table is linear, we can use any two ordered pairs to calculate the slope. Let's go and just use these first two. Notice how the change in the cost would be 85.5 minus 17.1, and the change in n would be 50 minus 10. This gives us 68.4 divided by 40, which is equal to 1.71. So this is the average rate of change. To understand what this means, though, it's often helpful to write this as a fraction, or in the form 1.71 divided by 1, where the numerator represents the change in the cost, and the denominator represents the change in n, or the change in the number of items purchased. Which means the cost is going to increase $1.71 for each frozen banana purchased. And now to determine the vertical intercept, or the y-intercept, we'll go ahead and find the equation of this linear function in the form y equals mx plus b. But in our case, y is actually c, and we know the slope is 1.71. Instead of x, we're using n. And now we'll select one point from the table, perform substitution for n and c to solve for b, which would be our vertical intercept. So if we use this first ordered pair, we'd substitute 17.1 for c and 10 for n. This would give us 17.1 equals 1.71 times 10 plus b. So we have 17.1 equals 17.1 plus b. Notice in this case, if we subtract 17.1 from both sides, we have b equals zero. So in this case, the y-intercept or the vertical intercept would be the point zero comma zero. Notice how this means if we purchase zero items, the total cost would be zero dollars. This also allows us to find the linear equation that represents this table. If b is equal to zero, we could say c is equal to 1.71 times n. Notice how this is not in function notation, but this linear equation does represent the table of values given here. So for the next part, when we're asked to write a linear function to represent the table, we would take the equation that we just found, c equals 1.71n, and for function notation, instead of c, we would write c of n. So we would enter c of n equals 1.71n. Next, we're asked to use the function to determine the cost to purchase 430 bananas, which means they're telling us n is equal to 430. So to determine this function value, we want to find c of 430, which would be 1.71 times 430, which comes out to 735. 3. As an ordered pair, this would be 430 comma 735.3. The meaning of this is the cost to purchase 430 bananas is $735.30. Notice how we already have the dollar sign here in the question. For the last part, we want to use the function to determine the number of frozen bananas purchased if the cost from the manufacturer 
is $1,385.10, which means we want to find n when c of n is equal to 1,385.1. So using our function, we'll substitute 1,385.1 for c of n and solve for n. So we'll divide both sides by 1.71. This gives us n equals 810. So n equals 810 when c of n equals 1385.1. As an ordered pair, we would have 810 comma 1385.1. The meaning of this is that 810 frozen bananas were purchased at a cost of $1,385.10. And once again, notice how the dollar sign is already included for us. I hope you found this helpful.